Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to share seven vegetables with you that you can actually store for a really long time in a pantry or a shelf. They don't need refrigeration. You can store them up to three months and even longer. The very first one that I'm going to mention is burner squash. Well, check that out. Well, you want to make sure when you harvest your burner squash that it's brown like this. You don't want to harvest a green burner squash like this one because this will not last long on the shelf. So let me harvest this one. Let's check this out. This will stay good for three months and even longer if kept in a cool, dry place. Number two, spaghetti squash. Now, spaghetti squash will also remain good in a dark, cool, and dry place for up to three months and even longer. And check this out. I have this huge spaghetti squash here. So let's harvest this one. So when you harvest your spaghetti squash, you want to make sure it has this yellow patina on it. If it's white or green, it's not ready. And look at this, it should be hard like this. So when you bake it, it actually comes out as spaghetti. So here you go. Really nice prized possession right there. Now these squashes are called hard squashes and that's why they last pretty long in the pantry or in a cool dark place. It all comes down to storage. If you store them properly and make sure they're in a dark, cool and a really dry place, they will stay even longer than three months as well. And there are other types of hard squashes as well, such as buttercup squash, red curry squash, acorn squash and many other type of hard shell squash that you can grow for long term storage too. I start my spaghetti squash and banana squash in spring right after the danger of frost is over and I just directly seed them in the ground and they are super easy to grow. I also grow them in succession so I keep planting them every month all the way till August in zone 9 here because we don't get our first frost until December. So you want to make sure you have at least three months of growth before you plant them in the ground. Number three, sugar pie pumpkins. Now there are other type of pumpkins you can grow and eat as well such as Long Island cheese, fairy tale pumpkin lots of other kinds of pumpkin however i like to grow sugar pie pumpkin they're really good to make some pumpkin soup pumpkin bread and also the pumpkin pie these pumpkins will also last three months or longer if kept in a cool dark and dry place pumpkins take about three months to grow i'm in zone nine so i start my pumpkins directly from seed in the first week of july to have them ready by halloween and thanksgiving season if you're in zone eight, seven or lower, you can even start your pumpkins earlier in May and June as well. Number four, sweet potatoes. Now you can grow sweet potatoes from slips. I have a separate video on how you can start your sweet potatoes from slips. And you want to start your sweet potatoes at least two months before the last frost date in your zone. The sweet potato slips take about two months to grow. They're a little bit slow growing. So right after the last frost, you can transfer the sweet potatoes right into your garden and have them grow all throughout the summer. You can start harvesting sweet potatoes just three months after planting and sweet potatoes will stay good for up to three months if kept in a cool, dark and dry place. Number five, potatoes. Now you can directly sow potatoes in your ground after the danger of frost is over in spring. So depending on your zone, you can start your potatoes in March or April or sometime in May if you're in zone five and below. Now potatoes are really easy to grow and you can start harvesting potatoes just three months after planting. If you live in a region with a long growing season, you can even plant your potatoes in succession all the way till fall. Make sure you plant them at least three months before your first frost date. I have a separate video on how to grow lots of potatoes, so check that out if you're interested. Potatoes can last up to three months if stored in a cool, dark, and dry place. Just make sure you store your potatoes away from onions. Number six, onions. Now you can start your onions from set or from seeds. I also have a separate video on complete information on how to grow onions. If you live in a zone where you have mild winters, which is zone eight and above, you can start your onions in fall and you can start with short day onions and you can plant them in September or October and you can harvest them in spring, in March or April. If you live in a zone where you get snow, you can plant your onions in spring, in April, and you can grow long day onions and you can start harvesting onions in September and October. Make sure you cure your onions properly and let them dry and you can keep them in a cool, dark and dry place and they will store up to three months. Number seven, garlic. Now garlic is also very easy to grow and it also stores for a really long time. If you keep it in a cool dry place, it can store for three months and even longer. It can store up to five to six months as well. Garlic is kind of similar to onions as well. If you live in a zone with mild winter, zone eight and above, you can plant your garlic in fall in September and October and you can harvest garlic in May. However, if you live in a zone with snow, you can plant your garlic in April or May and you can harvest the garlic in fall. 
Also, make sure you properly dry and cure your garlic before storing and it will store for up to six months. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can grow all of these vegetables to have a longer shelf life without the need of refrigerator and you can keep your pantry stocked and I'll see you in another video.